So we have another reading from the Tiswas book of silly superstitions. A little bit of trivia uh, back in the, it was probably in the 70s. Yeah, I think it was in the 70s. I actually had a joke read out on Tiswas on the show. And um, it was read out by uh, David Rappaport, um, the guy who, he, he, he played different characters on Tiswas. And I think he was dressed as, or playing the character of Shades, uh, like the cool Fonz like little person. He was a little person. This is David Rappaport who basically um, was in, I'm trying to, I should have looked this up before I started this video. Oh yeah, he was in Time Bandits and various other things. And um, I think a few years after he read my joke out, he went to, he was living in LA and he blew his brains out. I really hope it wasn't my joke. Would you like me to tell you the joke? gets bigger the more you take away. It wasn't really a joke, it's more like a, is it called a conundrum or, I don't know, a hole. Sad. I, w I want a, a, a Tiswas t-shirt for that. I I should find it and wear it. Not that it actually fit, it was a children's one. Anyway, let's, let's stop the rambling. Let's, are you ready? Here we go, oh my god. Am I going to read that one? Oh, no. Oh, here we go, here we go, we'll, we'll read it. There was like loads of stuff, I was thinking, that was all to do with brow or forehead. No, I'm going I'm to read this one on, on, on this side. Right, here we go. If you have a mole in the middle of your forehead, you will be... I haven't, I've just got wrinkles. You will be very rich. If you have one just above the temple... You are full of wit and understanding. And you possibly got skin cancer as well, so who knows? So uh, another another reading tomorrow. Hope you uh, enjoyed that from the Tiswas book of silly superstitions.